right, so here we are in part two, and we're going to finish up the nose. Um, the object that I want to use is a sphere, and we'll scale it so that it's the uh, kind of uh, an olive shape here. So I'm going to click on my polygon sphere right here, or you can go to create polygon primitive sphere. Okay, it's going to give us a sphere, and it's going to be it's going to be too many lines, too many edges. Um, but we can just go down here, click on polysphere two change the subdivision axis to 8 and the subdivision height to 6. Okay, why am I doing this? Well, if we look at the uh, number of faces here, we have four faces that we're going to delete. Okay, Deleting these four faces, that's going to leave us with eight edges. So that's why my subdivision axis was 8. Okay, I don't need to have a height of 8 because um, it's just not necessary. We don't need that much detail. Okay. So I'm going to press R and scale up to create kind of an olive shape here. And then I'll go to my side view, right click, and go to face, select these faces on the bottom and delete them. Okay. Uh, I'm going to press E, or actually I'm going to go to object mode first, select the object and then rotate it. So press W, move this over, and we need to scale this down. Okay. Scale it down a little bit more. Okay, I'm leaving it. Um, I'm not quite putting it exactly into place here. It's a little bit easier to append if we have a little bit of space between the two objects. Okay, so I'm going to combine these two objects. I'm going to hold down the Shift key. All right. So you select one object, hold down Shift, select the second object. I go to Mesh and then Combine. All right, so now um, we've deleted the faces on both objects. Now we can append. So I go to Edit Mesh, Append to Polygon Tool. I'll click here. I'll press G to finish the append and bring my append tool up again. So I'm just going to, after each append, I'll press G. And that's G as in good. going all the way around here. Okay. Alright, so let's go back to our side view. I'm going to right click, go to vertex. Um, I'm going to select, I'm going to take my marquee selection tool here and just select the nose. Press W and push this in into place. Okay. And then I'll press W here and can now kind of move some of this stuff. So now for the tricky part, and that is the giant ears on this mouse. Um, before I do that, I'm going to take the two faces on the top here, and I'm going to extrude them up. I'll just scale in from the center here. And maybe lower this down a little bit. Um, now, let's see. Uh, in order to extrude out that ear, I'm going to have to create some new edges in here to create smaller geometry so that we can create the extrusion. So I'm going to use my interactive split tool right here. I'm going to start right here. And I'm starting in a corner where these three edges meet. And then I'm going to go to the center of this edge and go down, going through the center here, and then right to here, press return. 
Now, we have created a new edge, so we've divided up these faces. So what we want to do is we want to actually manipulate our geometry. We don't ever want to create new faces without rounding out our shape. See so right here, we have a very straight edge, but we've got an edge loop going right, or not an edge loop, but an edge going through here. So what we want to do is take this and round it out a little bit. Okay. Okay, it looks like I somehow deleted this edge right here, so I'll take my interactive split tool and repair this. Press enter to finish that. Alright, so let's go back to my interactive split tool again. Now, when I created this first new edge, in the process of doing that I created a triangle at the top and at the bottom right here. So now if I split this again, now this triangle now has four sides and this triangle now has four sides. Okay. Once again, we have uh, we've modified our geometry, so I'm going to select these edges and I'm going to round out their shape a little bit. Let me go to vertex here. So I spent a lot of time tumbling my camera just to kind of check the uh, shape and make sure that it looks kind of okay from all different angles. All right, so I'm going to now select these two faces here, and I'm going to hit extrude, use the blue arrow and go out, and from here. Uh, I'm going to scale this in, so I just click on any of these outside cubes and then scale from the center. Okay. Now I'm going to add in an edge loop, and I'll press R and scale out from the center here, and then. This is all kind of funky in that the ear doesn't really match up with our reference image yet. Um, I'm just kind of getting out the shape of this ear first and then we'll line it up. I'm just going to pull this out a little bit further. Take this edge loop right here. So I'm going to double click on this edge. It's going to select the entire loop. I'll push that up a little bit. Okay, And then I'm going to add an edge loop right close to the base of the head here and then press R and scale that in a little bit. Maybe select just this edge, bring that in. Some of these edges are pretty thick, so I'm going to kind of scale them in. this in. And maybe take this, push it in.
So now I'm just taking a look at the the overall shape here, and I'm kind of just the ears coming out at a weird angle. It's kind of a tough shape to deal with. It's pretty close, you know. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this whole section right here. Let's see. I'll go to face. Select all this stuff. Select this. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key and then press the period key to increase my selection. Okay, So I've got kind of the whole ear selected here. And then I'm going to go to my top panel here, press E for my rotate tool. I'm going to hold down the D key, D as in dog, and I'm going to move the pivot point towards the center of the, uh, not the center, the outside of the head, kind of where the ear meets the head, okay? And then I'm going to rotate out, or back, I should say, maybe. Okay, and then maybe hit W and push this back a little bit. Let's take a look at this. And this vertex right here, I want to bring this back in. Okay. I'll take this, these two vertices out here and pull them out further. All right. So when we rotated um, our ear, it kind of messed up our geometry a little bit here. So I'm going to kind of take the, some of these vertices and just kind of move them around and kind of clean it up. So I'm going to right click, go to object mode, and I'm going to press 3 on the keyboard, and I'm going to just check what this looks like in our smoothed mode. And it's pretty decent. The ear is too small though, so I press 1, and let's go to vertex, and let's start to push this stuff out a little bit more. a little bit better. I'm not going to be too nitpicky about matching up with my reference image exactly. I think I like the shape on that ear. It's working for me right now. So I'm going to press 1 on the keyboard and go back to our regular display. I'm going to select these four faces here. And I'm going to press extrude. And I'm going to just click on one of these boxes here and then click and drag on the center and then I'll press extrude again and I'll push them these faces in Okay. so now when I go to object mode and I press 3 you can see there's kind of a lip to the ear right there alright I'm going to press 1 and next thing I'm going to do is add in a little detail so I'm going to select these two faces here, press extrude, go straight out, and then um, I'm going to go to edge, and I'm going to push this in. So I'm doing this kind of just by eye, so I need to make sure that it's I don't want to push the edge into the ear. I want to just bring it closer to the center. Okay. Okay. So let me take this and I can actually pull this down a little bit more. Okay. So now that I have kind of shrunk this area, I'm going to go to face mode and I'll extrude this out again. Use the blue arrow to come out and I'll scale in. And then what I can do is I can select the two faces on the top and on the bottom, extrude those out, and then scale them in. 
I'm going to take these two faces here, extrude these out, like so. Alright, so now basically I'm just going to manipulate this to the point where um, I have the shapes that I want. Okay, so I can add in an edge loop on these. Maybe scale this down a little bit. Okay, so now you can see I kind of have the the beginning shapes of the fur or the like the hair on his on the inside of his ear. So I've selected the object. I'm press press three here. You can see there's the little detail, and it doesn't match up exactly with my drawing, but it's pretty close. Um, I think it looks good when it's smoothed out. So. I think I'm going to just change one thing, and that is this edge right here should come out. That looks good. All right, so in the previous version, I saved uh, the file as mouse01. We're now at a new stage in the modeling process. We want to save a new file, so we'll save it as mouse02. So go ahead and save your file right now, and we'll continue with the modeling process in part three.